Hey YouTube, Kira Twee here, bringing you all an update to my Steel Swarm Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile for August 2023. The Steel Swarm deck is definitely overlooked compared to some of the other Hidden Arsenal decks that are out there, including the more evolved counterpart, Evil Swarm. Steel Swarm is focused on being able to tribute some out some of the bigger boss monsters, including the one you see here, Steel Swarm Hercules, to gain some additional tribute effects while on the field. I figured a control variant that can completely shut down your opponent's monster effects and also their special summons from the extra deck was probably the best route to go for for the steel swarm deck just completely shutting out what they can do while being able to keep your big boss monster on the field so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so we'll start off with the boss monsters we're in one copy of steel swarm hercules it cannot be special summon it requires three steel swarm tributes to normal summon and cannot be normal set once per turn you can pay half your life points to destroy all other cards on the field so it has the destruction effect in the form of just complete destruction for every other card aside from itself on the field me you can swing into your opponent for 3200 points of damage alone with this card you don't want to have too too many copies of this card though because the main play you need to get it out on the field obviously is the setup of your other steel swarm monsters so just the one of copy for this boss monster for an easier tribute than that card i run two copies of steel swarm gear stag if you wanted to run, uh, you know, Steel Swarm Cocos Stag, you can always put in a copy by taking out a copy of Jeer Stag. You can tribute summon this card, face up attack position by tributing one Steel Swarm Monster. And when this card is tribute summoned by tributing a Steel Swarm Monster, you can target one card your opponent controls and send that target to the graveyard and gain 1,000 life points. So just having this option to send an opponent's card to the graveyard, not destroying it, can get around a good number of different cards. And I really do like Jeer Stag because it just requires the one tribute tribute for your summon of this card and then you can meet the requirements for some of the other traps and spells that we are running in the deck by just getting this card out that much more easily on the field not needing the two setup or the three setup like our steel swarm hercules to summon it out now for the steel swarm monsters i'm running three i obviously already showed some of them but for the lower level steel swarm monsters i run three copies of steel swarm cell if you control no monsters you can special summon this card from your hand and while this card is face up on the field it cannot be tributed except for the tribute summon of a steel swarm monster and cannot be used as synchro material so another thing with this deck is that you have the limitations with your extra deck which we'll get to in just a bit as well but you're really not limited with your summons because when you summon out your steel swarm cell as your special summon it's just going to be tributed most of the time for your bigger steel swarm monsters including jeer stag just needing that one tribute for this card so then this card won't even take up your normal summon which is why it's also a three up in the deck so we have better odds of seeing it in our hand to use for its special summon. And then also the three copies of Steel Swarm Genome. This card is treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a Steel Swarm monster. So you have the additional option with this card being your two tribute summon for the Steel Swarm tributes for your option for Hercules on the field. It requires three Steel Swarm tributes to normal summon it. So it doesn't say that it needs three Steel Swarm monsters to make it. It just needs three Steel Swarm tributes. So meaning that your genome counts as two tributes makes up for two of the three for your Hercules, which is why we're also running in the deck. If you ran the one Coca Stag along with your stack, it could also be for that one spot as well. With our other three of for the Steel Swarms being the three copies of Steel Swarm Collar. When a Steel Swarm monster is tribute summoned face up by tributing this card, you can special summon one level four lower Steel Swarm monster from your deck. So that gives you the other resource and probably one of my favorite ways to then be able to summon out cards like Steel Swarm Genome onto the field added for that tribute setup since you most of the time will have genome be taken up by a normal summon to get it on the field to begin with the only evil swarm that i run in the deck is the three copies of evil swarm kirkion you can only use each of the effects of kirkion once per turn while this card is in the graveyard if it was sent there this turn you can normal summon one l swarm monster for one less tribute and you can banish one l swarm monster from your graveyard then target one card and also that monster to add this card from your graveyard to your hand and also it gains the following effect you can 
a, a basically normal summon one elsewhere monster so with the banishment elsewhere monster being able to target one and add to your hand and then gain the additional normal summon it means that you have that tribute play lined up for some of the other monsters you may have had on the field as well but kirkion comes in handy for one of the plays that go over when we get to the end of the video to set up the also the extra deck summon we have along with our restrictions for our spell and trap cards for the lower numbers for the steel swarm monsters i run the one copy of steel swarm gatekeeper and the one copy of steel swarm scout at the start of your main phase one with scout if you control no spell or trap cards you can special summon this card from your graveyard you cannot special summon another monster the turn you activate this effect and while this card is facing on the field it cannot be tributed except for the tribute of a steel swarm monster and it cannot be used as synchro material so it's just an easy special summon on the field we do run a good amount of spell and traps that will be continuous on the field but it's just that one of if you need that one additional monster resource and most of the spell and traps you used were ones that could be basically cleared out from back row activation against your opponent and then steel swarm gatekeeper if a steel swarm monster is tribute summon wall face this card's face up on the field you can normal summon or set one monster in addition to your normal summoner set this turn so another monster just as a resource on the field with some of the traps that we're running in the deck for those resources to be brought out more easily including infestation ripples for another summon onto the field can be a way just to bring out gatekeeper onto the field to make use of for its own effect moving on now to the spells i run three copies of infestation pandemic all face up elsewhere monsters you currently control are unaffected by other spell and trap effects this turn so it's more protection because not just like with the evil swarms the steel swarms also count as elsewhere monsters so when you get your bigger boss monsters out onto the field if your opponent were to try and destroy them or activate any spells to let's say flip them face down you can in chain react with infestation pandemic and protect your steel swarm monsters on the field i'm also running the three copies of domain of the true monarchs this is the shutdown i mentioned before for the extra deck for your opponent while you have no cards in your extra deck and you are the only player that controls a tribute summon monster your opponent cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck if a tribute summon monster you control attacks an opponent's monster it gains 800 attack during the damage calculation only so then you have the restriction making it so your opponent can't go into their extra deck and definitely shut down a good number of decks in the game currently you'll have your tribute summon monster out on the field very easily depending on the one you summon out also and then also having the additional attack gain so if your opponent were to have a pesky monster on the field you have the power boost to put cards like jeer stag all the way up to 3400 attack thanks to this card I also run the two copies of First Step Towards Infestation. You return one face-up tribute summon Steel Swarm Monster. You control the hand to draw one card, so it's draw power, and then it also allows you to make use of that monster again. So especially in the form of Jiristag, by being able to bounce it back to your hand and then summon it out again, you have that play to target a card your opponent controls, sending it to the graveyard to gain 1,000 life points. And life point gain definitely does help with Jiristag with how much you'll be halving your life with your Steel Swarm Hercules also. I also run... For some of the one ofs for these spells and these spell numbers can also be mixed around depending on player preference but i have double summon and then also monster reborn and allure of darkness now i thought of putting just three allure of darkness in for this spot you can do that as well or mix around the number of double summons so you have more of the tribute play with getting out some one of your other steel swarm monsters it's all just how you want to mix and match with this final spell spot in the deck for your player choice now for the trap cards i run three copies of infestation ripples you pay 500 life points to target Target one level four lower steel swarm monster in your graveyard. Special summon it from the graveyard. It's a great end phase play for your opponent to then activate this card because then you could also potentially clear the back row for some of your other cards like your steel swarm scout to then be able to be special summoned from the graveyard onto the field by ha having any other spell and traps on the field. This play is counteracted when you have cards like Domain of the True Monarchs, but with this card activated most of the time, you'll have your tribute summon card on the field already and then not have to rely on much of your opponent doing with any of their cards since they're restricted form their extra deck and then also the two copies of infestation tool one of the faster ways to get some of the steel swarm monsters from the main deck into the graveyard including the steel swarm scout or any of the ones we may want to special summon off of ripples as well giving an additional attack boost to a steel swarm monster on the field also so then some of our other steel swarm monsters can at least attack for some bigger numbers against our opponent's cards with the other traps we run being two copies of i would say 
definitely probably one of the newer traps in the deck from Burst of Destiny, Apex Predation. If you control a normal summoner set monster, destroy all special summoner monsters on the field until the end of your next turn after this card is activated. You cannot normal or set. You can only activate one Apex Predation per turn. But this card can also just wipe out your opponent's special summoner monsters. So you restrict them from their extra deck, but some of their main deck plays could still, you know, be pesky for your cards on the field. So this trap comes in handy just being able to destroy those cards while keeping your own on the field. Since most of the time you'll just have your tribute summon monsters. I also run two copies of the Monarchs Erupt for more of a skill drain play by controlling no extra deck as well. And then lastly, also the three copies of Torrential Tribute. Call it a play I liked from the Evil Swarm deck because we do have another way to clear out our opponent's field while being able to protect our own Steel Swarm monsters thanks to cards like Infestation Pandemic. Now for the extra deck, we're limited to really not running an extra deck since we are locked in with cards like the Monarchs Erupt and then also our Domain of the True Monarchs that we're running in the deck. The only card I have in the extra deck is the one copy of Steel Swarm Origin because both of these cards specify while you have no cards in the extra deck. So being a trap you have to activate since you activate while you have no cards in your extra deck and then the Domain of the True Monarchs is the same play. If you at least have your summon of your Steel Swarm cards, like let's say you have the Special Summon of Cell, you don't have the extra extra deck play and then you just normal summon out a steel swarm caller you have your two monsters needed to summon out your steel swarm origin onto the field which also limits your opponent's extra deck summoning while also clearing out your extra deck to then be able to use the spell and trap i mentioned before that's why you can you know always opt out of not running this card but it's one of the justifications to why i run the kirkion to begin with in the extra in the main deck for then to be able to give you that additional normal summon to set up the link to play as well and then also just when a monster Monster is destroyed by battle or card effect. Being able to special summon the level four or lower elsewhere monster from your deck in defense position up to the number destroyed means that if you destroy a good number of monsters while your bigger L swarms are on the field, you'll get a bigger swarm of other ones to use on the field for the tribute the following turn. But if you didn't want to run this card, you could always just take it out and then have the clear extra deck with nothing to worry about. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. As for some of the plays in the deck, it all comes down to just that tribute setup where if you get your special summon of cards like Cell, and then you have your summon of your Jeer Stag from your hand, being the tribute. If you went second, you have the clear of your opponent's field, but this can still be a pretty good going first turn because then you have your tribute summon monster out on the field. You have other traps to rely on that can either special summon that resource back into the field to then reuse again. You have traps that can also work together very well in tandem including infestation tool and infestation ripples because then with both of these cards on the field if you have your lockdown for your other extract plays you can set both of these activating your infestation tool to send an l swarm monster to the graveyard or steel swarm so you can send genome off of this card and then at the end of the turn activate your ripples to special summon it back onto the field giving you another monster on the field with that in play to then be able to have your two tribute monster to summon out your steel swarm hercules but like i said before until until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and Kira Twig out.